Hey, seventh graders, we are going to be learning about composite shapes and answering the question, how can shapes be put together and taken apart? In the natural world, shapes are composed of all sorts of different sizes and combinations. So this is modeled in the mathematical world. These are called composite shapes when I can combine a triangle with a semicircle or two rectangles or I could take away a shape from another shape. So we're gonna see how to use area to compute composite. In third grade, that area is two-dimensional space and the area is multiplication. In a rectangle, the area of a shape is its length times its width. What we're gonna do is add shapes together. So I could take a rectangle and add on a semicircle like the place you shoot free throws from in basketball. So area adds together the way numbers add together. So not only do I use my length times width formula, I'm also gonna use my area of a circle formula, pi r squared. Now the tricky part is, what's the radius? If the side of the rectangle is eight, then the radius must be four because a radius is half the diameter. Since I'm working with a semicircle, my area must also be divided by two. So area is additive. The entire shape would have an area of 96 from my rectangle, length times width, and my area of my semicircle is 3.14 times 4 times 4 divided by 2, or 25 and 12 hundredths. If I add those areas together, we have a combined area of 121 and 12 hundredths. Area can be added like numbers. Because area is additive, we can add any two shapes together to see the space they take up. I could add a rectangle and a square. The area of a rectangle is its length times width. Since a square is a rectangle, the length and the width are the same number. So since area is additive, the area of my square is 36. The area of my rectangle is 96 and the area of the composite shape, bringing them together, is 132 square units. So what do I do this in real life? Let's say we wanna buy paint to paint our skateboard ramp. So I need to paint all of the rectangle, and the area of the rectangle is length times width, or eight times 12. Since a triangle folded in half is a rectangle, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. My height is the same as the height of the rectangle and my base is 10. So one half of 80 is 40. And because area is additive, I can add the rectangle and the triangle's area to know that I need to buy 136 square units of paint to cover my skateboard. Since multiplication and addition are commutative, it doesn't matter the order that I combine the areas in. If I have a square, my length and my width are the same number, so my area is six times six, or 36 but I have two half circles on each end. And this is where it's tricky because the area of a circle formula requires me know to, the, to know the radius, but it's showing me the diameter is six. If the diameter is six, half the diameter is the radius. So the radius would be three. And instead of adding two half circles, why don't I just put them together and make a whole circle? pi times not three times three would give me 28 
and 26 hundredths. Because area is additive, I can add two half circles to a rectangle in any order that I want, and that gives me the total combined area of the composite shape. Hey!